Hey guys, I am coming to you with another video. I just got off work and I just filmed this uh, the other direction for Instagram. So I figured I might as well make one for um, YouTube. So I am making a video uh, to answer your questions about uh, nail placement and um, why we put nails where we put them and how do you know where to put the nails and all of that. So to answer those questions, it is first an anatomy lesson. So I have my handy dandy um, educator hoof and I'm going to start with just some basics. This outer part that you can see here, that is the hoof wall. The outer part when you're looking at the bottom this is the sole. As you can see, this is also the hoof wall. The triangle in the middle is called the frog. Um, on a not freeze-dried hoof, this is usually very uh, soft and pliable. Um, this is pretty stinking hard, and the outer hoof is um, definitely the hardest, uh, most inflexible structure. Um, okay. So where, um, what holds the hoof wall um, onto the hoof so that it doesn't fall off is the lamina. The lamina is, oh well, okay. So hoof wall starts here, goes all the way to there. Then you have the lamina and then you have the coffin bone. And this is the sole here. So sole lamina, hoof wall. Um, so the material that holds the hoof wall to the sole to the coffin bone is called the lamina. From the bottom, oh my gosh, I don't have a tripod, so I have my, um, I have my phone taped to my um, monitor. Oh shoot. Okay, we should be good for another minute. Um, so when you uh, when you look at the lamina from the bottom of the hoof and you see this connection point, it's easier to see on the trimmed side rather than the untrimmed side. Um, it's called the white line. The white line is just the part that you can see. Okay, I'm going to overlay uh, an image here of a very stretched out white line. because it's hard to see on this one. I'll put it up one more time and just take a look at the general, what that white line looks like here. Actually with that angle, you can kind of see it's the material you have coming off of the, um, the hoof wall, the inside of the hoof wall coming off the coffin bone. It's a material that, um, kind of interlocks together it's very soft and fibrous compared to um, other parts of the hoof and it's extremely strong. I mean, all of their weight is, you know, standing on their feet and this is what holds their feet to their bones inside their feet. So it's a very, very strong material. Okay. So one other uh, anatomy thing. So when you're looking in here and you see, you know, very rigid material, the sole's very hard, um, everything in the front of the hoof is attached to um, the bones and the further in the back of the hoof you get, you have the frog, you have all of this up in here, all of this is soft tissue. You have the bulbs which are soft. Um, so generally from here to here it is very rigid. There's no expansion when the horse steps down here to here, very soft. When a horse steps down, or even with your hands, you can do this with your hands. If you take a, if you take your horse's hoof, you can, you can move the back of their foot. Um, not a ton, not as much as I just showed you there, but you, when they step down, you're going to see just the tiniest bit of expansion as they step. And part of that is they step on the frog and everything back there, it's soft and it pushes 
that hoof out and then they step back up and then they step down pushes everything out so moving on to the actual nailing when we nail we nail into the lamina we nail into the lamina or into the white line from the bottom the shoe goes around here and we usually nail here 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 when we put a nail into the lamina the lamina kind of opens up and it's gonna like suck in around where that nail went and lock it in place hold it on there very very strongly um, okay so the nail goes up the white line out the hoof wall in three different places uh, so that's why we put it into the lamina as opposed to the hoof wall if you put it in the hoof wall and it went up it went up the middle of the hoof wall you would just split and crack the hoof wall to pieces it would it, it, when the hoof dried out the nail would just completely fall out I mean the shoes would not stay on it would destroy the wall of the hoof it would not be a good situation whereas when you put it in the lamina it locks it in place it's resilient it's strong it's stretchy it's soft um, higher moisture content all of that so reason we put them in this section here as opposed to all the way around the hoof or in the back of the hoof is because of the expansion so when they step down onto that shoe this part of the hoof does not need anywhere to go because it's bone it's hoof wall everything's very tightly structured together but in the back you can't ha if you have nails in the back of the hoof it holds your hoof to um, to that shoe and it doesn't allow the hoof to have its natural expansion um, which can mess up several things including blood flow so you wind you can wind up with emaciated frogs you don't get the same ground contact uh, on the frog which in turn messes up blood flow so that is why all of that to say white line lamina good for nails front of the hoof does not expand good for nails so hopefully that was helpful if any of it was not i know i have my notes but i kind of ramble a little bit so if you still have questions uh put them in the comments and i will answer them asap if you liked this video give it a thumbs up follow my channel let me know that you want more of them um i'm happy to make them they're actually pretty fun to make and it's a lot easier than like typing out answers to the same question over and over on Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know. Thanks for watching.